Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Is your foundation making you older? I was inspired to do this video from my sister. She texted me and she was like, help, how do I make these lines in my forehead less noticeable? And why does my makeup make me look older? I was like, oh girl. So that inspired me for this video because there's several things that you guys can change that can help your skin look more hydrated, which is gonna help your skin look more youthful. And yes, your makeup can make you look older than you are. So feel free to continue watching this video if you wanna learn some little tips on how you can look younger while wearing makeup. So number one, if your skin is dehydrated, then it's going to look older than it is. And dehydration in your skin doesn't mean you're not drinking enough water. You can drink all the water in the world and that's not gonna make Make your your face plump or hydrated and honestly everything to do with makeup application goes back to proper skincare if you have proper skincare if you're using the right products for your skin type your face is going to be a result of that it's going to be hydrated smooth it's not going to be irritated it's not going to be bumpy patchy hopefully not a lot of breakouts and therefore your makeup will glide on more smoothly so number one you guys need to know that if your skin is dehydrated then any makeup you apply on your skin is just going to magnify any line or wrinkle you have which is actually going to make you look older how do you know if your skin's dehydrated if you're applying products and your skin feels tight or dry after you apply these products then that's a pretty good sign that your skin is dehydrated you know you can drink all the water in the world but if you're not applying the proper products you're just going to keep causing inflammation irritation dryness tightness makeup is just not going to apply smoothly so you guys really need to take a look at what you're using you know maybe tone it down maybe make sure your products don't have fragrance or too much retinol or too much glycolic acid you really need to take a look at the products you're using because i think you're using too harsh of products for your face to be that dehydrated that dry that means you know once a week using a gentle exfoliator to get off the dead skin cells and just have your skin cells renew turn over maybe that means you guys should use a gentle retinol that's a gentle form of chemical exfoliation that is great for your skin you know even just a couple times a week and then you want to make sure like your moisturizers are fragrance free because that's just going to irritate your skin possibly fragrance free cleansers cleansers are notorious for having fragrance in them and fragrance is going to just kind of strip your skin it's just an added ingredient that's not not necessary it's going to strip your skin even more therefore causing even more dryness so you know maybe you even need to look into a universal oil like squalane or rosehip seed oil that you can apply in the pm that's just going to add lock in moisture you really want to be careful with your skin care routine because if that is good your skin's going to look good and makeup's going to apply well if you're applying foundation and then you know you're setting it with a setting powder and then a bronzer and a blush those powder products are going to suck up any bit of moisture and therefore it can make your lines and wrinkles look even drier especially around the eye area if you feel like your eyes are just look so old why do my eyes look so old well then you're probably using too drying of powder products because that eye area especially the powder is gonna suck up any moisture therefore magnifying wrinkles so I told my sister I said number one I'm gonna recommend a hydrating foundation it's good for you guys with dehydrated skin to use as moisturizing as a foundation as you can you don't want too heavy of a foundation either because if it's caked on that's not gonna look good that's not gonna do anything for your wrinkles so number two I told my sister I said you would really benefit with a primer I know a lot of people think primers are pointless but a primer can be an extra product to fill in wrinkles and help smooth out your skin number three those of you me included with dehydrated skin we benefit by using using cream products. I apply the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It has added skincare, added hydrating benefits. It's the creamiest, most moisturizing foundation I've ever used. And just the moisture it adds to my skin is incredible. So I use that. I use a cream concealer, obviously they're all cream, a cream blush. The more cream products you use, the better. I have a very moisturizing powder, a setting powder, because it's still good to set those cream products to lock it in. And then it also creates a smooth canvas if you want to go in with bronzer, a powder bronzer, a powder blush. But you want to make sure you're loose, loose powder, by the way, not press. You don't want to use pressed powders. Those are too drying. Us with dehydrated skin, we want a loose setting powder, but you want to be careful which one. I found that the Laura Mercier loose setting powder is too drying. The Maybelline Fit Me loose setting powder, too drying. So you want like the Derma Blend, that one's just hydrating. The IT Cosmetics, Bye Bye Pores, loose setting powder, so moisturizing. Like there is a such thing as moisturizing setting powder. So you wanna do that. And in that way you can go in with a little powder bronzer and you know, you won't look too dry, too old. 
therefore looking too old. So another option, you wanna make sure you're using the right foundation shade for you. If you're using too dark of a foundation shade for your skin type, then that's gonna aid you too. It's important to learn to apply subtle bronzer around the perimeter of your skin, and that's a great place to add warmth to your skin, but you don't want all over like caked on dark tan foundation because that can make you look older than you are too. Another suggestion is once you apply your makeup, applying a very hydrating mist to your skin. I always do that because I do like to go in with a powder bronzer and a powder blush. And again, the powder is gonna soak up any moisture that maybe our foundation had. So that way I like to end with misting and it's just a way um, to add some hydration and dewiness back to my skin. Another suggestion for those of us with dehydrated skin, you want to slowly build your way up rather than caking on foundation. So beauty blender, you gotta be careful with beauty blender because that can tend to be drying, but you know, maybe you want, you have a, like a foundation a paddle, foundation brush, or your fingers to just gently apply a light layer of foundation. And then, you know, take a look at your skin, be like, did I cover all my redness? Did I cover all insecurities covered? If you need more, then go in with another layer. But slowly layering your foundation and building up the coverage is better than going in with way too much because it's really hard to take away. If you have too much, it's just gonna settle in your lines and wrinkles and that's not gonna look good either. Overall, you gotta take a look at your skincare routine because if you are having that dehydrated, dry skin, I'm telling you right now, your makeup's not going to apply smoothly and you're going to look older. Like your makeup will make you look like you're older because it's settling in those lines and wrinkles. The powder products are magnifying those lines and wrinkles and just drying them out even more, therefore making you look older than what you are. So the big takeaway is just how can you add the most moisturizing products to your skin? Because the more moisture you're applying on your skin, the more it's gonna just soften those lines and wrinkles and fill them in. So you could also look into a line filler. I can't confirm if that's effective or not, but I know certain brands do have pore fillers or line fillers that are supposed to just smooth it out, so that can make a difference, but I think that goes hand in hand with adding a moisturizing primer. I do think primers can help smooth out those wrinkles. I think finding a very moisturizing cream foundation is highly recommended. And quickly, I'll give you some foundation suggestions. Just these are very moisturizing foundations. So number one is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I'm telling you, this is the dewiest, most hydrating foundation, but you've got to keep in mind if you don't already have a soft, smooth, skin surface to begin with, this isn't going to fix everything. So that's why it's really important to exfoliate and have proper skincare products so that your foundation will apply more smoothly. But this is a very moisturizing, hydrating product, so it will benefit your skin rather than drying it out. Um, another one is the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation. Water is in its name. So it's just very hydrating, not drying, very lightweight buildable. So that's key. Starting out light and sheer and building coverage if you need to. Another one is the Clarins. This is a cushion foundation. This is especially great for more mature skin types. Those with a lot of wrinkles. This is going to be one of your most hydrating foundation. So it typically comes with a little sponge, but you can easily dip your brush into it. It is very moisturizing. You will hear it and then gently wipe it onto your skin and build up the coverage you need. Another one that I love is this Josie Moran foundation as well. Very lightweight and hydrating. Any product that is made or geared towards oily skin types, acne prone skin, those tend to be more drying. Any very thick foundation, is going to be very drying too. So you wanna look for, um, it's important which ingredients are in it, like especially if they have hydrating, added skincare ingredients in the foundation is extra bonus, like sunscreen, this is sunscreen, and this says it's anti-aging and hydrating serum. Any tinted moisturizer, any tinted SPF is going to be another great option. It's gonna have pigment, which can cover, you know, any redness or blotchiness that you have, but it's going to be moisturizing. So a good tip is just to look for a hydrating foundation. If you're searching, if you know, you could add that in a filter. If you go to the store, just be like, I'm looking for hydrating foundation. And there's many on the market. So 
just know, um, even though you think you might have dry skin, it could very well be dehydrated, meaning you're using the wrong products and you're not exfoliating. So I think that sums this up. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Feel free to email me. I'm happy to take a look at your personal skincare routine, tweak it for you, and let you know what could be the culprit if you are having any reactions or like any issues. So thank you guys for listening and I'll see you in another video, another day. Hey, bye.